Hey, I'm Tony, and welcome to Coolest Life. Well, it just so happens I'm finally doing a video of Fort Brennan Lodge, number 579, right here in beautiful Columbus, Georgia, just outside one of the gates in uh, at uh, Fort Benning. So this is at the main drag. So right here is the main building here. They were chartered in 1924. And uh, so we're gonna go inside and take a look around. As you've just entered the Coolest Life. Well, guess what I'm in just just found out they got actually got the rear work going on today so this is their uh, main entrance here and uh, this is a past master from this lodge um, I think that's uh, uh, James E. Miller so James E. Miller they actually got a daylight lodge named after him here in Columbus and here's another pass this is a uh, part of Gilchrist what this is. So he's a past high priest, I think he is, a uh, Moffat illustrious grandmaster. Okay, so nice. Um, they've also got some other stuff like this, and then here they've got the, a meeting uh, about ready to eat, actually. Hopefully, they've already started eating. And they put all their officers, this is the pictures, put all their officers on the, on the walls. All the currently seated officers. And this is the main foyer room, it's really nice. Always got a picture of George Washington up there. And um, Order of the Eastern Star has a, has, a, has, a, um, has a chapter here that meets here twice a month or once a month. This is their, uh, their main room here. So now let's go in, oh, so. This is something, um, you don't see this in every lodge, but you see this in some lodges. When they open up lodge, sometimes they, they'll file in a certain order. This is actually the order that they're gonna file in. So you, so you get your treasurer, your senior deacon, secretary, senior steward, junior warden, junior steward, chaplain, senior warden, and junior deacon, which of course is the last guy in. And of course this one here is actually for Easter Star. I've actually never seen one of these for Eastern Star. And you've got a, a nice sword here. These are claymores. These are really, they're pretty stout too. There's a couple of different lodges that have these. In fact, I put two in that, uh, one in at Midland Lodge and one in at the Rose Hill Lodge here locally. Uh, I say I put in, I, I put my name on it because I was master of both of those lodges and my years what I gave back to the lodge so that they've got a nice sword out their, out their outer door. So this is the main entrance. They've got a bell here. And this is uh, one of their donation boxes. They did one from Sonic Home and, and uh, one for uh, um, the Penny Jar, I guess. Now we got some guy in a tuxedo walking around. I think he's the butler. <laughs> yeah, he's a butler and or known as a past master at this lodge. They're, they're got degree work going on. So different lodges, some will dress up, some won't. This lodge is the size that they're going to dress up when they do degree work. So, and this particular one, you got a master mason tonight, right? Yes. Gotcha. So they're raising a new brand new master. Um, master mason the top three minimum will wear tux. No, top three minimum will wear tux. You can see this column here is, is unusual. I don't think I know of another lodge that actually has the, uh, has your globes here actually sitting on top of uh, the chapter here. Uh, normally you've got like a little pedestal and you can spin them. Uh, this one, not so much, but they are a good size. They're at least the size of a basketball, if not a little larger, which also was unusual because most of them are a lot smaller than a basketball, but not this one here. Um, this is also something that you see, you see pretty, it's pretty common, but definitely not at every lodge. This is a door knocker. It's a little hand. I don't know if you can tell it's a hand. But they got one on the other side also and at the other door so you got a door knocker there that's uh pretty unusual and, and specific to uh to, to masonry i've got good seating you actually got room up up here in front to add seating if they ever needed to and the nice floor it's a really good condition and i mentioned this one time before about the florida lodges they're uh their lights here we're actually different heights. They've got three lights and they're all different heights, but as you can see this in here, 
in Georgia Lodges, they're all the exact same height. And they've got the uh, uh, lights on, what we call the three lesser lights. You can see the uh, it, it lights up really nice. Really good condition, uh, the box here. It looks as if they have come up here. And those of you that are Masons would know that the lodge is now open, but they may be at refreshment. Uh, if, you, if you're thinking you're going to have a long night, sometimes you'll open lodge early, and you can do that. Uh, via a dispensation or actually I don't know if you need a dispensation to open early. Ah, you might I'll have to check that one, but uh, uh, it runs you like a dollar. Gotcha. So they uh, uh, they open open early and then they'll put it at ease so that they can save time and open because our opening takes about 15 minutes. It's unlike most that I've seen in other states. They take like five. Now in a lot of the Florida lodges, we saw this symbol. This symbol here and this is probably the first uh georgia lodge that i've been to that i recall that they actually have that symbol there and we we spoke about that in some of our other videos eastern star logo that one there actually lights up here's their ballot box this is pretty common let's see what we got let's see if i got anything in here let's see if I got any black cubes the the in 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 the past they say if you if someone doesn't get voted in something they call it they, they'll say black ball well that's not Masonic because Masonic has the white balls grant and the black cubes reject. So um, uh, that's how they decide certain things that they want a unanimous vote. They'll use the, the ballot box. And of course, you put them inside and this is a nice ballot box. It's got a little bit of age to it. Really good, really good condition. This is pretty common. That's, that's normally the most common style that I see. Uh, the square ones, not so much, but definitely I, I see the... the uh, uh, I won't say something about the stones here in a minute. So this is where the mass is going to sit. Good looking chair. That chair doesn't have any symbols on it, you see, because every lodge is different. The altar does. The altar's got a square. Some people want the square this way. Some people want it that way. It just depends. If you think of it this way here, not only is it going to match this, but it's also going to match your jewel as it hangs from the master's neck. It's going to be this direction, not this direction. But we still see this a lot. Uh, representing where the master sits and you can see the size of it's a good piece of this is like 20 pounds um that's a nice gavel there it's a good size also um georgia state flag really common that you see um over here on this side you're going to see the american flag uh always to the left as you as you observe a stage and then we're going to have a Georgia flag. Sometimes you'll see a Masonic flag also. These chairs are really good size. They're for wide bodies here. Not that you need them in this case, but but uh, at least you have the option. I also got a PA system here. Uh, it When needed, they're probably going to use it today. And that up there looks like their charter. Around the sides, what you'll find is your uh, past masters. They'll do a picture of their past masters. And you can see there's, there's a tradition here. Um... Uh, up here, there were a lot of military past masters because they were active duty military, this being Fort Benning Lodge. And then you'll see for a while there, everybody wanted to wear a hat, and then also nobody wanted to wear a hat. I'm a fan of putting a picture up there of, of, the, of the, the past master wearing a hat. Uh, I wore a hat in both of mine. I guess I'm, I'm just partial to it. To each his own. You can or you can't. It's up to you. Now, I will say this. Uh, this is where a junior warden sits, and you know that we're, we're at labor right now. If you're a mason, you know how to detect that, how to tell if we're at labor. It has something to do with a missing something missing here. But uh, down here is a rough stone. You can see it's really rough. You don't see this one much often. A lot of lodges, you see two stones. You see one that is really rough and one that is cut. But in this lodge, you see one that is rough. You see one that's got a little more shape to it. It's a little more cut. It's smooth here, but it's rough there. And then up in front, uh, where the master sits, way over here, you're going to see one that's nice and smooth and uh, already cut to shape. And you got the Easter Star logo up top. And you could, uh, what's another good thing is you actually see the, the G lit up. Not everyone has a G that lights up. Uh, in most of my videos, the lodges are at refreshment. 
Uh, and I want to say refresh, but they haven't opened for the day at all. Uh, this lodge has opened for the day. So therefore, there's different symbolisms that they'll have. Um, different symbolisms that they'll have. So if you ever get a chance to come to, to Fort Benny or in the Columbus, Georgia area, be sure to come by Fort Benny Lodge. It's a beautiful lodge, as you can tell here. Um, they're very welcoming. They're doing degree work in this Shaten Brothers. Um, passing and raising them. So so come on down to Fort Benning Lodge. And you saw that sign. I think they meet on the second and fourth Mondays, which is what today is, a Monday. So invite your friends. Send this video to them. Be sure to like and subscribe. I can always use all the subscribers we can get. We're over 220 right now subscribers. So we're doing really well. Hope you get to 1,000 in um, maybe by August. <laughs> but you are now leaving the coolest life. Masonic Edition. Mm -hmm.